so what do you do these are this is a very inevitable question that each of us may encounter sometimes many times a day whether it be in the office or a networking event like this or meeting into uh, bumping into an old friend at the airport or an evening party so what do you do now how many of you have already answered this question in the break or feel you're going to be answering this question before this day goes by yeah it's it's easy it's a short it's a short uh, question five words five words uh, where we perhaps seek to know more about the other person's life in general or profession in particular so what do you do it has a short answer uh, but that's not the case with everyone it's not so straightforward for everyone let me tell you about a few of them meet sonia makwani she is the master she is a masters in uh, clinical psychology she is also a doctorate in hypnotherapy and she runs this community development initiative called touching lives so she is a social worker and child education really calls on her she is an author she's written three books on four children in fact they were selected uh, for the famous frankfurt book fair they were showcased there she's a rewarded filmmaker and she's an entrepreneur how would she answer the question so what do you do how about raj mali who was uh, at ge us comfortable job 10 years ago decided to come back to india with an objective of exploring a dimension of himself which was dormant so far that is being an executive coach he writes he is he has two books to his name and he also is a shamanic healer how would he answer the question so what do you do how about rintu rathod she is a homemaker she is a commercial designer and an a cake artist so what you see over here are actually chocolate sculptures okay uh that's only a part of uh, her personality and her career what she also does is she runs the f- food army the food army is an initiative run by her along with friends with a single mission and the mission is let no one be hungry especially when disasters strike whether it is the chennai flood the jammu floods the kashmir flood i mean or the nepal earthquake they ensured that homemade fresh food reached by the by the latest flight to the respective locations how would rent to answer the question so what do you do how about debulent sen debulent sen is he says i have 14 teachers and the 14 teachers are the 14 mountains of the world outdoors is his passion he is a himalayan uh, traveler and he takes people who are interested in exploring the outdoors and the himalaya as a profession he is a media professional associated with one of the for several marquee names one of them being lonely planet by the way he is here in the audience he is also a writer and a blogger how do how would deb answer the question so what do you do or how about the inspiring kalki subramaniam from coimbatore she is the country's first transgender activist she is an author she is an actress she is a publisher and she is an entrepreneur how would she answer the question so what do you do my son riday he asks me the question uh, papa what do you do and uh, how do you make money i don't have a straight forward answer for him it was a straight forward answer for 16 years before this question got answer, uh, asked by him when i was in the corporate world uh, and it was i had a short answer but it is not so as an academician consultant and entrepreneur my answer is not short i was actually let me give you background of how i was brought up i was brought up with this uh, inspiration from this quote the gazelle about the gazelle and the lion okay uh, it goes like this every morning in the jungle of africa a gazelle wakes up and it knows it has to run fast because if it does not and it has to run it has to outrun the other gazelles if it doesn't it will be eaten up by the lion it would be meals and every morning a lion wakes up knowing that it has to run run fast 
faster than the slowest gazelle, else it goes hungry. And this is what I lived my life by, okay? that I have to run and I ran. I ran for several years uh, till I realized that, hey, I'm not a gazelle, nor am I a lion. I do not need to be predator or prey. Perhaps an alternative life narrative is possible. And uh, so seven years ago, I moved out of the corporate world with an assertion to myself that three assertions, oh, one being that uh, I will do all those things that I really like to do. The second being that I will work with people and organizations that really give me joy. And the third being that the biggest luxury, it was a realization, the biggest luxury of life is time and I will enjoy mine. So, you can imagine what happened at home, okay? Uh, my parents, my siblings, they were aghast, they were puzzled, oh, what, what's happened to Mesh, okay? Uh, my wife was supportive, okay? Uh, she, uh, she, she, was, she was the one who was really, really supportive on my choice. Very, very difficult choice. Over the last seven years, uh, I have this adventure, this roller coaster ride has taken me to several countries. I've worked with several organizations, big, small, and startups with trade industries, industry bodies. I have made lifelong warm friendships with people. Yeah. And what I have done is I have been able, I have struggled, and, but I have rescripted my career. People like Raj, people like Debelin, people like Kalki, people like Rintu, people like me, is what I call multi-professionals. So who are multi-professionals? Multi-professionals are those people who pursue, actively pursue, multiple concurrent careers by choice. Yeah. So they are multi-professionals. It is not a side gig. It is not another creative pursuit, oh, I need to learn guitar. Okay? It is not, an, it's not moonlighting either. There, is, there, are, there are multiple career choices and each career choice has a target to it or a in the intended impact. So that's who a multi-professional is. This is what I call. Uh, they, are, they, are not, they, are, they are not uh, a minority or um, an unknown uh, cohort. But in fact, this is a trend, although new in India, the famous Charles Handy, one of the top thinkers uh, of the world, he saw it as early as 1990. And what he says is people will have, more, will have more actively, will be more actively in control of their careers by working in a lot of small jobs instead of one big one. He's, he, he in fact went, went ahead and saying this, this trend is going to be so powerful that it will change the structures of organization. He talks about the shamrock organization and so on. I won't get into that. Uh, whom I call multi-professionals are called by different names and there are books written on them. For example, Daniel Pink uh, calls them free agents and he, in his book he says that 16% of the US population, which is approximately about 25 million, are what he calls free agents. Marcy Alboher wrote a book called uh, One Person Multiple Career. She calls them slashers. Why? Because author slash speaker slash coach. Yeah, so she calls them slashers. Other people call them portfolio careerists or uh, multi-potentialites. I call them multi, multi professionals, absolutely. So what I want to get into are just two questions <coughs> about uh, multi-professionals. Why do people choose uh, being multi-professionals and what are the kind of trade-offs that they need, need to do, that they make in life? So the bedrock belief of multi-professionals is they believe that who they are and what they do should be in sync. This is the bedrock belief. For example, Raj, when I spoke to him, he said that uh, he'd rather work with, with companies rather than in companies, because the time that is released from boss management and politics can be better channelized. What uh, Sonia says that life 
about her her expression is children's education and empowerment and she wants to do multiple things right from writing to film making to business all to experience herself fully in everything that she does and kalki she represents a part of the community which who do not have real career options they'd either be crushed or they might as well create and each career option for her is a weapon of mass reconstruction of ideas in the minds of people of the society the other thing that multi uh, professionals believe is there's no one path there are many paths many ways to explore that calling within they also believe that the only thing finite in life is time and they better be control in their own time they like to have the control over their time and finally they believe that life just like music music is basically consisting of seven different notes all combined together similarly life can be music life can be a combination of apparently unrelated pursuits all fused into one meaningful prof- meaningful and profitable career what multi professionals commonly say is education is the biggest enabler education enabled them to build wings of freedom rather than being caged into one thing that they wanted to do now multi professionals as i said in india the trend is just about catching up this kind of choices are just about catching up so uh, they are they are currently sometimes misfits in some uh, occasions uh, and they also need to given the scenario they need to make some trade offs what are the kind of trade offs that they make okay so the first uh, one of the trade offs is fulfillment versus fame so they much rather enjoy the silent moments of fulfill fulfillment rather than the glaring limelight of fame the other trade off is fun versus financial abundance well uh, as a multi professional i can say you that the money is not bad but the fun is great the other trade off is flexibility versus predictability multi professional say that uh, flexibility is something that you can experience every day in your life it is something that you do and predictability is an illusion so if you really see fulfillment fun flexibility these are all internal these are the people who are who live life inside out rather than how am i perceived outside from outside so so the, the, this is these are the kind of trade offs these are the kind of choices that multi professionals make in today's world where education is accessible technology is a high enabler mobility is possible in careers entrepreneurship is celebrated it is possible for us it is possible for us to do apparently unrelated things and pursue one object uh, pursue and build one career it is an individual talent driven model so the next time someone asks you so what do you do remember that our work identity need not be our life identity we can we are big we can we are multi dimensional we can be we contain multitudes and we can be different unrelated things wrapped up all together into one authentic person thank you thank you